Welcome back creative friends. Today we are going to add a touch of artistic flair to your bathroom with a one of a kind DIY project, a hand painted toilet paper holder. This was a used old and shabby plastic toilet paper holder and I wanted to give it a new look so we are going to paint a landscape on it today and I have given it a base coat with titanium white. The landscape we are going to paint today is of a sunset scene but there is no sun visible in it but you can see the pinkish sky so to give the pinkish look to the sky I have mixed crimson with titanium white here. Here I am going to start painting the lake now and the lake is going to have a lot of colors of blue from the lightest blue to the deepest blue and here I have mixed cerulean blue and lake blue with titanium white to make these colors the lightest color and a bit of dark color. Now I am going to paint a couple of swans here and I haven't made a sketch of the swans I am doing it freehand and I am using brown brush number 0 with titanium white. If you are new on my channel, I'm very happy to have you here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon so that you can have all the latest updates of my videos. A friend of mine once asked me why don't I paint on a canvas. I do, but usually I paint on the objects of daily use because there is a philosophy here. You can hang a canvas on the wall, but you cannot take that canvas everywhere with you. So I paint on the objects of daily use and enjoy their beauty and most of the time my clients do so too. I would love to know your opinion too so if you think like me tell me in the comment section. The sketch is almost ready so now we are going to paint the swans. Here I have used dark grey color and I have made it with titanium white and a tinge of black. I have used this dark color on the feathers of the tail to show the shadow. Here I am going to use round brush number 3 to paint the heads and necks of the swans. And this is just pure titanium white I am using here. Now we are going to paint the body of the swans. If anything is not clear here, you can ask me in the comment section and I am going to answer all your questions. I am using flat brush number 6 here now. We are going to paint the feathers now and I am using light black color here and to make this color I have used titanium white, mostly titanium white with just a dot of black. And 
in the beginning of the video i have said it was a sunset scene that's why the sky was pink and you can see the same pink reflection on the swans too The dark grey colour you are seeing on the feathers of the swan is to show the shadows because there is less light there and hence the shadows. Usually I don't make videos this long but this was a lengthy project and it took a bit of time so I'm sorry about this long video but it was almost inevitable to complete it sooner than this. Okay, I have took the dotting tool to make the eyes of the swan instead of a brush. I am making the outline of the beak with the black color but the beak of a swan is almost maroonish red or red so I am going to fill it up with crimson color. I am going to blend shadows here on the feathers but guys remember don't blend too much and don't leave harsh lines too. There should be a bit of a balance in between these two. Well, it was a bit of a challenge to paint this landscape on a round object because it wasn't so in my reference pack. So guys, tell me how do you like this project? Although I know it took a bit of time, the video was long, but I'm sorry, I couldn't paint it sooner than this. We are going to paint the lake now and I made this color with marine blue and titanium white and there are going to be much darker blue colors here till the end. We are going to paint the reflections of the swan on the water and for this I am using zigzag stroke here. We are going to paint lotus leaf here and I have made this color with sap green, titanium white and of course lemon yellow. When you are painting the far off leaves, sometimes the straight strokes are enough to show the leaves and keep the size small so that 
it would show the distance to paint the shadow under the lotus leaves i am using very dark green color here To paint the edges of the lotus leaf, don't paint them in straight strokes, keep your stroke a bit wavy. Here I am using lemonish white color to give more depth to the lotus leaves. Firstly I used the color in slanting strokes and then head blended it. And I have used flat brush number 4 for this purpose. Now we are going to paint the lotus flower. We are going to paint it in pink and white but to make its base I have used dark maroon color and I made that color with crimson and mars black. And I have made this pink color with crimson and titanium white, mostly titanium white with just a bit of crimson in it. Make the first set of petals with dark pink and then use light pink for the second set of petals. We are going to paint reeds now and for this I am using dark green color and I am using round brush number 4 here. I'm using white color here to paint the waves and I'm using flat brush number 4 here. Your toilet paper holder is ready. See you next time with a new project in a new video. Have a wonderful day all of you.